Hello, son of God. We are out here in this place, cycling, normal bicycle. It's a little bit dark, it's raining. So we, we stand here and we share this transmission with you. You can't see anything. Let's open some lights. Oh my God. So the light is here. This is your uh, waiting link. And uh, in this uh, transmission, we're gonna talk about how to protect your mind a bit in the world of illusions. So, so you have to understand that every thought has consequences. That's, that's the most important part in your journey right now. Learning that, learning that you do not know. Because what you see is already passed and over. The, the ego, which is your mental prison, which is an illusion, a shadow, but uh, which attaches to you and depreciates your power, feeds off you and tries to destroy you in time. The ego makes you believe that this is real, puts you back into this body, and uh, you have to realize that this whole world is outside your mind and uh, it is actually a prison for your mind and you made it you made it son of god yourself your greater self that uh, you don't know we don't we don't talk about um the human prison we, we talk about your greater self that uh made all this illusion and this self which is the son of god we all share it together you are the son of god that's your truth the only truth inside you, it is that a uh, very limited part of the Son of God, which is the truth of what you are, your spirit, your holy Son of God, you are limitless, you are peace, you are love, your joy, you are thought of God, you are forever an effect of God. You, you have all the power of creation with the, the prime creator, you have all the power of the universe, but now, as long as you believe you are here, as a, a prisoner in this world, the ego attacks constantly God through you. Only the inside of the ego could think that can attack God and that attack is real. But as long as you believe in that illusion, you lose everything. You lose everything. So you have to, to start detaching. And of course, uh, um, you have to overcome all this. All this, though, is just an illusion, a shadow. It doesn't even exist. It's powerless. No, no creative power. All knowledge is of God. Knowledge is power, and all power is of God. That's all. That's all you have to understand. And that power is within you. Is within you. But there have been so many blocks through the ego between um, your awareness of the power in God in you, which is your holy mind, your holiness and uh, between where you are now that you don't even remember where that power lies inside you and, and you don't even remember what you are what are you doing here what is this this is what you made this is a dream god creates only awakening mind and your mind can decide to sleep to think a bit of time of the interval of time to to think a bit uh, of this but this is nowhere this never happened this never happened, it's just a prison and as long as you, cho you cherish the thoughts of the ego, you make this. You make this sound of God, so you actually make your death, you actually make your pain, your disease, the insanity of this world, the dualistic insanity, the yin and yang, all this insanity. Uh, you, you have to realize that you cannot provide healing to yourself because you think this is real and you made this but the voice for God, the Holy Spirit that uh, is uh, uh, in your mind, in the altar of your mind He's gonna restore you your altar through the miracles, through the atonement of Christ, through healing He's gonna restore your altar and uh, uh, you're gonna get out of here but the only way out is uh, the Holy Spirit the, the only salvation is Him because it is the divine plan. He has the mission to, to reunite you with the Father so the Son and the Father can become one. And this is actually your only way out. And it's already, you already have the gift. The Holy Spirit is the gift of God for you. And he, He's going to teach you everything, but you have to start detaching from this world. Okay, not only, but you, you have to, to remind yourself that uh, what you see your perception and everything that your perception sees is not a fact it's not problems of fact 
it's just illusions, it's just problems of understanding. And the more you think right through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you know, step by step, He's gonna bridge you from the bottom up as you fall. Uh, your, your perception is constantly, is constantly gonna change. Okay, but it's just a problem of understanding. There is no facts here. Okay, and um, as you know by now, um, your mind can follow the will of God, which is its natural course. But also, your mind can decide to sleep and uh, uh, not follow it and go against it, which is this illusion but you lose everything okay you just make illusions nothing is real that's why you can easily escape it but the, the prison the prison is of your mind okay and the prison are your thoughts so your current state of mind is your perception you think that what you see here teaches you no it, it, it is just showing you what you taught yourself Perception is an effect, it's, it's your current state of mind and it is based on your thinking, on your thoughts. So, by changing your thoughts, which of course you cannot do that for yourself because uh, if, if you pay attention to your mind at this moment, this hold and uh, the teachings of this hold and actually the majority of your thoughts are images. Those images as you see, those thought thoughts that appear as images this is your prison you can think in terms of images and uh, escape this your real thoughts that you think with God in the same mind you're part of the mind of God you're a thought of God you're, you're a mind you, you share the same mind but um, your real thoughts are not images and uh, the good and the bad thoughts that you experience as images here are not your real thoughts, are part of the prison of your mind and you, you have to connect through true meditation to try to go below that cloud to practice awareness, to, to practice presence to start uh, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the Master Teacher to start, uh, stop investing outside stop investing in those thoughts, detach, observe you'll see that uh, 99% of them, if not the majority of them, are not your thoughts and they, they work against you. They, it's your death. It's just an illusion, a dream, a dream spell. So with the new thought system that uh, the Holy Spirit is going to teach you, you're going to remember both your thoughts and He's going to help you remember yourself. That's why the Holy Spirit is here to return you to your power, which of course you'll realize in that journey that uh, Below these images, these bodies, these prisons that you see, is your brother. It is you. Because uh, you live in me, because you live in God. Everyone lives in you, and you live in everyone. But when, I, when I'm talking about that, um, I, I'm talking about uh, our minds, because you, because you are mind, you are thought of God. Your mind can think, even, even if you are not in the brain. The brain is the limitation upon your mind. You're gonna laugh at this, but uh, later on, that you th maybe at this moment, you think in the dream that you think with the brain. No, the brain can only interpret messages from this world that is an illusion outside of your mind. It's part of your prison. The brain is part of your prison that you need to, it's a hole of flesh around your mind, a block in communication, a limitation upon love and uh, you will realize along the journey to your awakening that what you do with Christ, what you do with the Holy Spirit, uh, the brain does not understand anything that comes from your vision. Because vision is of the mind and the eyes of the brain don't see anything. Okay, so uh, the other, do you see these, these dudes there? Yeah, these dudes are you in another time and space. The prison is of the mind and uh, time is neutral but under the tyranny of the ego that you're hosted now time is being used against you and you struggle and you experience disease same as problems all these illusions okay but under the guidance and the banner of the holy spirit time is gonna be used as a teaching device as a means to escape time as a learning as a learning device actually 
to escape time. So don't worry how he's gonna teach you that, but it's all, all you have to look where salvation is, and salvation is inside you, it's inside in your mind. So in that part inside you, that uh, there is there is a part in your experience right now in this world that you think is real. There is a part in your experience that. Uh, uh, didn't change at all since the moment of your birth since the moment you came here there is this presence this awareness it's it's the same all throughout your journey in time if if you travel back to your memories uh, when you were a child you realize that there is something out there that uh, is the same exactly as now okay okay hold that find that that's you nothing else in here is you all this world is outside yourself you are only that it's a prison for your mind that's your mind that's actually a very limited part of your mind disconnected and uh you're sleeping this uh uh this uh this uh dream this dream of illusion and uh you have to pay all your attention there. In other words, when you do that correctly, you take all your attention from uh, your thoughts, from your emotions, from time and space. In other words, you, you stop investing in this world. You stop investing in the illusion because those thoughts, those emotions, the space, time are all part of your prison. It's the ego. So you take your attention back, which means now you, you start investing in... Uh, the dynamic stillness in the now, in the present moment, and of course, this is your only way out. You'll see that your mind is going to begin to open up, and through there, you choose the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is going to teach you everything you need. So, you have to really become aware that every thought has consequence. Right now, look here where you are. It's just a dream. It, it is. It, it doesn't matter if uh, uh, if it appears uh, to be. Uh, hard or or easy it's the same illusion both are death okay this is not the will of god this is an attack on god and uh, you, you have to protect yourself to protect your mind so even if you are in the survival right now doesn't matter where you are this is uh, um maybe you're wealthy you're not wealthy you 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 just have illusions okay you have nothing nothing other than your death you're sleeping so you have to realize that there is a way out. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you. The miracle heals everything because it is the same illusion. Even though, even though the figures of the dream change, it is just, it is just the same illusion. So the miracle heals all illusions. When, when, when illusions are brought to the truth, and that's what the Holy Spirit does for you. When you, when you work together and you share his perception, you give everything that is not of God to him and it gets healed. And it doesn't matter where you are, protect your mind. You have the resources, you just don't see because you are not in the present moment. It's all there. So be, be careful. Uh, you need mental training, you need mental, mental discipline. All this I can teach you through my teachings, but you have to accept me. Be a happy learner, I know the way, I'm there already. Uh, and yeah, go within. When we say go within, they go instantly. Instantly, when I, 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 for example, I might say now, the kingdom of heaven is within you. They go instantly. It's gonna make a projection there in your mind, uh, and uh, you're gonna try to find within some and look outside. Uh, look outside. Of course, that's another illusion of the ego, another part of the prison. So you have to realize that. The kingdom of heaven is you. You are the son of God. So it's uh, in that part that didn't change at all since the moment of your birth. Connect there. That's what you are. Nothing else from this uh, dream. No, you're, not your thoughts, not your emotions, nothing. And your, your way out is there. So with that being said, peace and glory.